Morning everybody, welcome back to the GTI. It is Tuesday, July 19th. Uh, today is delivery day of the Cayman. I got a phone call from the uh, transport driver yesterday afternoon saying that he was just leaving New Jersey and that he would he would be here sometime this morning, um, which is completely awesome because um, uh, if you remember from my, my couple other videos, uh, uh, July 19th is my dad's birthday and he passed away a couple years ago. He was a huge influence uh, with, with me and my love of cars, so it's an awesome day to get this car. I still have not heard on whether or not they got the plates, the Massachusetts license plates out to me uh, yesterday. Um, my salesperson uh, said that he was bogged down yesterday. They were so busy, so he wasn't able to. Um, he wasn't in charge of it. The business office is in charge of it, but he was not able to find out if anybody sent it, if anybody FedExed them out yesterday or not. So um, uh, he texted me back last night at about eight o'clock. So uh, crossing my fingers that they actually did get sent out and that they'll be here this morning next day air so I can slap the plates on and at least I can drive it um, but anyway I have uh, all my cameras with me I have my iPhone I have the GoPro here that I'm talking on now I have my my Sony a6000 everybody's charged ready to go I'm gonna get some great video uh, the driver said he's gonna give me a call about 30 minutes before he arrives so i um, gonna clean out the parking lot at uh, at the office and um, you know get everything ready so this is the start of a big day and uh, um, and stay tuned there it is didn't realize it's gonna be in such a such a big transport I thought it was gonna be a regular 18-wheeler Okay, everyone, here it is. It came in today. You probably saw some snapshots of the delivery earlier. Um, I've had a chance to take it out for really just a little run down, uh, down Park Street here because the license plates still aren't here. I'm still working with the dealership in Florida. Um, they have to get the license plate from Massachusetts and then they have to send them back up to me. So uh, they were nice enough to, to shoot this out earlier before getting the plates um, because uh, they knew that today was my father's birthday. So at least I had it delivered on my dad's birthday, which is awesome. It was really, really great at the dealership in Florida. And that's Scanlon Lexus. Uh, they're out of Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, worked with a really great guy by the name of Doug. He put up a, a lot with me over the past couple of weeks, uh, and I thank him for that. But um, uh, they did the best they could. Working with any DMV is really, really slow. They really asked for the DMV to, to FedEx next day or the plates down to them because they said that the DMV did did mail them out uh, on Friday, I think he said. And they should have received them yesterday. And then they were going to FedEx them to me so they would meet me here today um, with, with the Cayman. But that didn't work out. So... Uh, I don't know how they shipped them down. They think that they probably just shipped them down regular first class uh, post. So, so maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I mean, even even since they didn't get the register, uh, they didn't get the plates today. Um, that means I won't get them tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow's my usual day off uh, here with the business. So um, it would have been cool to been able to drive this on my day off, but. Uh, clean it, do stuff like that, 
Um, I really can't even sneak it home. I live about three or four miles away. They're, they're really, not unless I get it towed, and I'm not really gonna pay for that, so. Uh, but this is it. Uh, after inspecting it, which I had to do after it was dropped off the truck, um, you know, inspect for any scratches. He already had notes as far as, you know, scratches and dings that it had on the car when he picked it up. So I had to, you know, confirm that there was no newer uh, scratches or dings or anything. There was nothing. Transport company was great. The people that dropped it off were great. Um, and, uh, you know, they were really quick. And as you saw probably in the video earlier that it was, um, they had a big double double trailer which I wasn't expecting but they were still able to sneak it in and out of uh, well we have a pretty good at the at the office here we have a pretty good parking lot there's the GTI they can come down that way and he did came over this way and um, then went up back that way so um, so it was quick and easy so uh, other than that, uh, it drives real nice. The, the brakes, uh, it's probably gonna need some brake pads, uh, which are fine. I do my own brake pads, so that's no problem with me. This is the, the interior. Leather seats, um, this is the base came in, so it doesn't have the full leather interior. It has the nice soft touch. Uh, material up here which I'm used to with with Volkswagen it's still a little bit more upscale than your regular plastic but um, uh, I mean for a car that's at almost 50,000 miles you can see right there it's it's actually very impressive of course it's coming from I'm not sure if you can hear me with the wind but it's coming from Florida so it's a Florida Florida car since day one since it was new so um, you know, it hasn't, well, it wouldn't drive this up here in the northeast in the, in the cold anyways, but, um, so let me jump in here, because it's getting a little windy, but, you know, that's, that's what I'm looking at in front of me, and of course the key is on the left-hand side, which is what all Porsches are. It does a little oil check before we start and then there's the basic uh, radio system CD radio no Bluetooth no auxiliary although down here in this console I guess there is something that can be installed here for um, uh, for an aux auxiliary plug as well as an old style iPod connection um, I think that I would look more into a whole new unit for here if I wanted to do that with Bluetooth and and phone and everything else like that um, all the climate control and everything here this this button here uh, supposed to raise the um, raise the rear spoiler um, it usually it raises automatically over 70 miles an hour and then goes down by itself uh, when you go down below 55 um, but you can raise and lower it yourself with this button, but it doesn't seem to work. So that's a question, another question that I have. Um, glove box, uh, it, here's a handy. You push that, it comes down, and then you push these things, and the you get two cup holders, which I'll probably never use, but nice to have. And they click back in these trim pieces you can get, you know, um, aftermarket trim pieces. This entire trim piece that runs along the entire thing here. Aftermarket with colors. I'm thinking maybe of getting it to, to match the white from the outside. Or you can get them in carbon and stuff like that. I wouldn't pay that much for it. It's like a thousand bucks for the carbon. It's ridiculous. Um, so that's the steering wheel. The logo in front here. But, uh, oh, and... Uh, garage door opener and let me bring you around let me let me pop the the two hoods here so I can show you that here's the front hood this is really the trunk there's 
massive amounts of room there. Uh, probably just as much as, or maybe just as much as my hatchback. There's a couple little cubbies here that you can open up and then it's, it's pretty deep down there. And then around the back, I hope I'm not shaking this too much. You have another, this is the hatchback, and you have more storage right here. And right there, right here, is the, um, is the engine. The engine's right underneath that. Actually, right here is the, is the oil and the coolant reservoir right there. So, um, that's what these, these side grills go right into the engine, help it breathe. The front, the front grills on either side, left and right, they also have radiators in there as well. So, uh, actually I'm not sure if those are, if those are halogen or if they're xenon. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're just plain halogen on the base Cayman. Um, the wheels, 19 inch wheels, factory. I love them. Um, I'm thinking about getting them. Uh... Sorry, I'm right by Route 9 here. Thinking about getting them pla uh, not plastic dip. There's no way I do that. Uh, powder coated. There's a few places in Worcester near me uh, that do some powder coating because I'd actually like to do it either a very dark gray like a graphite or a um, or a black. Um, also, what a lot of people will do is these fins here. Uh, they'll also do those in black. Um, I posted uh, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook uh, an image of the um, the side decals that go along right here. And uh, you know, those are very easy to put on and off if I want to, you know, take them off in the in the future. And then also down here. The base Caymans have a single oval outlet uh, for the exhaust, which is pretty good. I mean, it's, it sounds okay. Well, you know, it really doesn't affect the sound, but it, it looks okay. But um, you've also probably seen in, in my Twitter and Instagram and also on Facebook, I think, I posted a picture of, uh, of a, a dual outlet uh, tip, uh, which are actually black tips. So I think we're going to be installing those. That's a quick... That's a quick five minute install for, for those. So um, all in all, after driving it for maybe about a quarter of a mile, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, you know, you can feel the road a lot more in this, specifically with the, you know, the 19 inch wheels. On the GTI is 18 inch wheels. Um, of course, that's a newer car. Well, no, it's actually, I really shouldn't say that. It's, it's only two years newer, it's a 2010 compared to this is a 2008. So, um, uh, but the 19 inch wheels, you feel a little bit more of the road. Uh, pure rack and pinion steering, which is awesome. I, I love that feel. You can feel everything in the road. Um, still getting used to a clutch again. So, um, uh, so, you know, so that's interesting. Haven't stalled it yet, but so anyway, so that's a brief overview of the uh, 2008 Cayman. I can't, again, I can't wait till I get the uh, the license plates on this thing so I can just properly take it out, uh, go for a good drive, and um, I think it'll be, it'll pretty much be the daily for um, for the summer. Why not? I only live about three or four miles away from the office, and um, uh, so it's not like I'm going to put a lot of miles on it, and um, the research that I've done, and I kind of thank Porsche for um, for coming out with the newer Caymans, the brand new Caymans, which are the 26, uh, 2017 Caymans. Um, they are four-cylinder turbos. So, you know, the, the past couple of years I've done a lot of research on these cars, and um, you know, I'm starting, we're starting to really see these prices for this first generation Cayman because um, they started in 2006, this is a 2008. Uh, there was a, a kind of a, a face lifted, uh, uh, kind of, you know, interior tweaks, engine tweaks uh, for 2009, same kind of body style. But um, 
you know, they're kind of plateauing as far as as far as the depreciation in value. So I noticed that trend over the past. Well, I've been looking at these for a couple of years, and um, so that's you know that that's great to see. And I think what helped it recently is with the announcement of both the new again the new Boxster. Let me turn this off so I don't waste the battery. Again, the new Boxster and the new Cayman, they're four-cylinder turbos, and, uh, you know, Porsche purists aren't really liking that decision by Porsche. So, you know, that could be a benefit for, you know, for, for owners like me of these, the last two generations of Caymans with the, the, the six-cylinder Boxster naturally aspirated engines. Um, you know, they just have such a unique Porsche sound to them. Uh, just like the 911s do and uh, I love the sound there there they sound they sound dirty they sound it, it, it's it's hard to explain I'll you know when I get the the license plates on here we'll go for a ride I'll get the GoPro we'll really go for a ride on this and so you can hear what it sounds like and and the engine is right behind you first car I've ever had uh, with an engine not in the front um, the only other time I've experienced that is is driving with Dad back in the 80s in his 1969 911 uh, with the engine all the way in the back. And uh, and there are quite a few people that, you know, in reviewers that say that this the mid-engine Cayman and Boxsters, they handle a lot better than the 911s. And they're a lot cheaper than the 911s. So, um, but nobody's happy with the four-cylinder turbo and the new Cay Caymans and Boxsters. So... Hopefully that will um, that will keep these these generations uh, from you know depreciation depreciating too value and you know maybe they'll plateau and you know who knows because this is the first generation maybe this will you know maybe even rise in value who knows um, so anyways so that's it. Um, got to go grab something to eat now unfortunately I'm gonna park this guy between these two vans tonight so hopefully from route 9 over there um, you know a lot of people won't be seeing this plus th th this is a well-lit parking lot at night anyway so I'm not gonna worry about it tomorrow's my day off I'm supposed to get some paperwork and the rest of the keys tomorrow for this car and again unfortunately no license plates but then maybe I'll bring a couple parts over that I already have work on it here in the parking lot on my day off um, and then crossing my fingers that the dealership gets the plates tomorrow and then they can next day air them to me for Thursday so again that's it um, gonna head out grab something to eat but uh, that's just a quick video of the delivery earlier this morning and now the walk around today and uh, in the future I'll grab some um, some GoPro footage from the inside once I get the license plate going so uh, so, so thanks for watching, subscribe, and, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.